My name is Gary Gahir. I'm an icon designer and my website is pixelpresscons.com. As an illustrator, it's really important that I have a ubiquitous method of capturing all my ideas. And right now I'm using Evernote from www.evernote.com to do that. What attracts me to Evernote is that it is a cross-platform application. There is an iPhone version and also a desktop version, and it has a great syncing feature that makes my notes and drawings and web clippings available to me regardless of what device I'm working on. The Windows version of Evernote supports drawing in notes and adding drawings to notes right out of the box, but the Mac version doesn't have this functionality. I'm going to show you how you can use the Mac's built-in software and your drawing tablet to quickly make a drawing and then import that drawing into Evernote. There's only one reason why we would not want to use Photoshop for doing this, but it's a good reason. Setting up a new document, choosing your brush and color, and then importing that drawing into Evernote is a lot of interaction, and it's no longer a quick sketch. To begin, we're going to open the System Preferences menu and we're going to select the ink control panel. We're going to turn handwriting recognition on to enable ink and dismiss the warning about a driver for our tablet. We're also going to make sure that the box show ink in menu bar is checked and then we can close the ink control panel. From the ink menu, if it's not already visible, you'll want to turn on the ink window, so select show ink window. And you'll also want to click the star icon in the lower left hand corner to switch ink to drawing mode. I'm already in drawing mode and my window was already visible so I'm going to begin drawing. I'm using the Wacom Bamboo touch and uh, what is it called? The touch tablet. It's a new device for me. I'm still getting used to it but it looks like a pretty promising device. I'm just gonna do a little doodle here If you run out of room while sketching an ink, you can just increase your canvas size by scaling the window in the traditional manner. You'll notice while you're working in ink, ink that you have no um, eraser function. So everything you draw is what you get. If you don't like it, you'll have to hit the clear button and start over. When you're finished with your drawing, you'll want to bring Evernote to the foreground and click inside the note where you want your drawing to appear. Go back to ink, click the send button to insert a copy of your drawing into Evernote. The same can be done with text. We just need to switch to text mode by clicking the text icon in the lower left hand corner and we can begin writing. I'm more of a printer writing works as well. That is how you can quickly use your tablet to import your sketches into Evernote. Clearly the result is not a substitute for a more detailed drawing or a piece of art that you might do in Adobe Photoshop using its uh, smudge and eraser tools, but it's a great tool for just capturing an idea very quickly and getting it into your project. My name is Gary and my website is pixelpresscons.com. I hope you have found this helpful.